So considering another exam concept uh, of our April 2024 exam where we are given on our transient, uh, that was question 1.1, we are given, refer to fig one below and answer the questions. So fig one, we're given the DC voltage, uh, which is 12 volts, the resistance and capacitor. So that's an RC circuit that we are talking about uh, in this case. So they are saying, if the capacitor C is initially fully discharged, initially it is discharged, and then at T is equal to zero, the switch is moved from position A to B. The switch is now moved from, from this position A to B, meaning to say it is going to be connected like this, a straight line, meaning to say it's on when it is like that. Initially it was discharged, but now what is happening? The switch is now connected. So all these calculations that we are going to have here are for the charging state. These are for the charging state. The DC voltage is now connected. It's now charging. So 1.11, they want you to calculate VC and the corresponding VR for the first time constant. For the first time constant. So for, for the first time, what does it mean? The first time constant, it means time will be equal to one uh, time cost is will be equal to one time constant. So time and time constant will be exactly the same. Time and the time constant will be exactly the same. So that is what they're asking you there. So let's consider uh, this. Uh, so let's start with our VC. Remember, this is a capacitor that we are dealing with and it's a charging state. And remember, our VC is taken uh, from Vm into, that's going to be 1 minus e to the exponent of minus t over tau. This is the charging state. If it was a discharge, it was just going to be Vm e to the exponent of minus t over tau, guys, I think. So remember your formulas. So we're going to substitute this where the condition that you're given, it's at what? One time constant. So Vm, remember from our second diagram, our Vm is Vdc, which is 12. So Vm is given, which is 12 uh, volts. So in this case, it was just a matter of substituting your Vm, uh, substitute your values, uh, that is 12 into one minus e to the exponent of minus t over tau. Remember, t and tau are equal. So in place of t, you or in place of tau, you can write it as t. In place of t, you can write as tau. They are the same. So they will just cancel and give us what? And it will give us a minus one. So that is what you're going to have in that case. So from this, you are going to calculate your VC, which is 7,585 volts. Just like that. So from that, uh, again, they want you and the corresponding VR. So VR in that case, remember. It's a charging state where VR is equal to Vm e to the exponent of minus t over tau. So it was just going to be the same thing. Your Vm substitute as 12 e to the exponent of minus t. t and tau, they are equal. So in place, you're going to write maybe it's minus t over t or it's tau over tau, whatever that you're writing, but these are equal. So this is simply a minus one that you are considering. So that was going to be 12 e to the exponent of a negative one, and that was going to give us the value of uh, uh, VR. Okay, where am I getting the VM, guys? Yeah, this is our VR, the voltage across the, the resistor. Uh, that was going to be 12 uh, from this 12 times E. It was going to be 4,415 volts from there. At one time constant, T and time constant will be equal. So you just relate anything that you have from there. That is how they just wanted you guys to consider this question. They just like wanted to disguise you, uh, but it's just a straightforward question. On 1.12 VC and its corresponding VR2 for the 50 time constant, 50. So when you say at that condition, time is equal to 50, five times the time constant. That is our time. So we're still back to the same formulas. Remember, guys, we're talking of the charging state. VC, we saw that it was given from Vm 
1 minus e to the exponent of minus t over tau. The only thing that has changed, okay, remember our vm guys, or vdc, it was 12 volts. The only thing that has changed is this condition of the time. So it's going to be 12 into 1 minus e to the exponent of, in place of t, in place of t, because t is equal to what this time? It is equal to 5. If the fifth time constant, which is 5 times, so it's going to be 5t, 5 tau. So it's just like we've got 5 tau like this over tau. So this and this was going to cancel. You have got what? A negative 5 on your exponent, just like that. So it was going to be 11 comma 919 volts. That's your PC. Just like that. The time is now 5 tau. So in place of that, you less with 5 tau. And VR, the corresponding, our VR in that case, remember, this is a charging state. And we said our VR is equal to V, M, E to the exponent of minus T over tau. So you're just going to substitute. Your VM does not change. 12 e to the exponent of minus t. Remember, time is 5 tau. So that's 5 tau over what? Over tau. This one and this one was going to cancel. So what is it that you are remaining? 12 e to the exponent of negative 5. 12 e to the exponent of negative 5. So that was going to give us 0, 0,08, uh, 0, 0,9, something like that, folks. Very, very small. That is the condition of uh, your questions. All right, on another case, they are giving us to name two frequencies that are observed when waking with the ringing circuit. Remember our RLC uh, circuit, that was our ringing circuit. What are the frequencies that were being observed? We talked of the resonant frequency. Okay, so that is the resonant, the resonant uh, frequency. Remember, we also talked of Fn, which is our natural frequency of that oscillation, uh, natural frequency. So these are the two frequencies that we talked about. Uh, they just want you to talk about that, which are the frequencies, name, just to name them. Resonant frequency, natural, just to name, don't explain anything. These are the typical questions, as we can see uh, from our exam. We just need to relate. Uh, in as much as we can, the information, how it is presented, the statements, how are they given, relating in terms of time, uh, those percentages of the time constant, this and that. So we shall see more questions to come till we meet again.